In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Exclaimer Cloud signatures for G Suite, with it adding signatures directly into Gmail and also adding signatures to any email sent from any device phone, tablet, Mac, PC, anything. So we have two options right off the bat. I could just try out the signature designer, go in there, look at the user interface, but I want to set this up fully for real. And so I'll choose this option on the left, configure the full operational service. Now in here, uh, immediately, it has the option to either begin with uh, client side, so only adding it into Gmail so you can see it while you're typing, or doing both the Gmail approach and adding it via Google itself. We're going to use both in this case, though you could have just the top one checked if you wanted. But I'll select that. And then in here, it is going to just confirm that I have the Exclaimer Cloud Google app installed on my G Suite tenancy. So when I click Next, it wants me to log in with my Google Super Admin account. I have a few of them because I do many of these demonstrations and videos, but I've picked the right one for this tenancy. And it's just telling me what this Exclaimer Cloud Google app is going to get permission to do. I'll click Allow. And then it's just going to check that it's installed. So I will click Integrate with Google to confirm that it is indeed installed. And we want the option Domain Install. That will actually install it for my entire organization. Otherwise, it would have only set it up for me, and it wouldn't be able to actually add the email signatures. So here I am indeed logged in with my admin account and I'll click Domain Install. And it will say yes, this applies to my entire organization, but it's not going to do anything until in Exclaimer we decide to start applying signatures to people. And so it confirms what this Exclaimer Cloud Google app has access to. I'll agree to the terms of service, and I'll click Accept. All right, and uh, the Google Marketplace has a nice little thing of where you can find Google Apps. But in my case, I will just close both of these, and I don't need to click Launch. Back in the tab I already had open, I can click Next. And it's just going to check that it did indeed install. Perfect. So there's a few uh, manual steps that I would need to go through. And I will take you through those here. There is also this server-side configuration guide. It's the complete knowledge base article on how to set this up step by step. I'll be showing you the steps as I go through them, so I'm not going to show you the guide. But as you do this, you could open up that guide and you could follow along. So these I will need a little later, but the first thing I need to do is go to the Google Admin dashboard. So in here, I'm going to go to G Suite, and then it might take a moment or two to load. We're going to go to Gmail under Apps. I'll just confirm that I got this. But I'll go to Gmail. Then we will scroll down to Advanced. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Hosts, that second tab here. And I'm going to add root. So on here, you could really name this whatever you want. A lot of people tend to call it Exclaimer Cloud. And on here, this is where I'm going to need that host name from Exclaimer. So I will copy that in there. And again, we're just following along those same manual setup steps that would be linked to from here. I just don't have them on my screen because I can only show you one thing at a time. And I would leave both of these checked. We are going to require TLS, so it is secure using TLS encryption. And we are going to require a CA signed certificate. Perfect. I'll click Save. Then if we go over to General Settings, we've got a couple more things that we want to change. 
So first, if I scroll down, we want to create what Google calls a content compliance rule. You might want have one already. You might have to click Add Another. In my case, I don't have any, so I'll just click Configure. And we want to set a few settings on this. The first one is very easy. Let's give it a name, root to Exclaimer Cloud. We will want this to apply on outbound emails, so emails you send to people outside the organization. We'll also do it on internal sending, so emails that you send to colleagues, so that any email sent from someone in your organization could have a signature. And then we are going to add a, an expression. We're going to get a, a little clever here. We're going to do an advanced content match, and the location is going to be full headers. The match type is going to be not contains text. And then we're going to copy and paste that little bit of content from the knowledge base article. It just is this. Basically, it says, it says this has already been processed by Exclaimer. Exclaimer hosted signatures, message processed. So essentially, if that header is there, then we don't process this, this again. So we'll click Save. And then what we want to do is, so assuming that uh, that does not contain that header, well, then we want to use that Exclaimer Cloud route that we just made. And then finally, uh, as I have, uh, I have alluded to earlier, we want to require TLS. Now, there's one more point that is optional. You could do this if you want to. You could maybe restrict this to only certain senders. I'd recommend that. Because if you wanted to, you could say, well, you know what? I don't want everyone being processed by Exclaimer just yet. I want to restrict this to maybe just myself or just my one test user. So in my case, I'm just going to put my own test email address in there. You don't have to do this step. It's just useful so that you won't accidentally put a signature on everyone's email in the organization. Just remember to uncheck that box when you're ready to roll it out for everyone. So I'll click Add Setting. But then we have one more thing that we want to do. We want to set it so that Google can take the email back from Exclaimer Cloud once we've added a signature. So under SMTP Relay Service, I'll click Configure. And we're almost doing the same things we were doing before. So we want to say uh, allowed senders only addresses in my domains. And we're also going to, under authentication, say we'll only accept mail from specified IP addresses. And there are two that Exclaimer has provided. So we'll do Exclaimer Cloud IP1. And I'm going to go and get it from this page here. Just remember to copy and paste it from the page in your setup, because the ones I'm using here are right for the service I'm setting this up on. You might be in another region. I'll click Save. And then there's a second one. We'll do Exclaimer Cloud IP2. And in here, we're going to grab that other one. We'll put that in. I'll click Save. And for the last time, we do want to require TLS encryption. These settings, perfect. I'll click Add Setting. And then one thing that uh, many a customer, and certainly I myself, have made this mistake a few times, you want to click Save. All those changes that we've done so far are not yet live. You need to click Save to begin applying them. And perfect. So on here, I'm just going to check this box. I have completed the setup in G Suite. And then I'll click Next. And then it's going to begin synchronizing my data with Google Directory. So essentially, pulling across those contact details, uh, those domains, any Google groups that you use in the Google Directory, so that Exclaimer Cloud can use those contact details to show in the email signature. 
or those groups to assign different signatures to different users. Perfect, it has synchronized. And so if I click Next, we're in. I can click New Signature. I could either start from scratch, or if I want to, I could choose one of those example templates. Um, maybe uh, start with this as a baseline and then modify it to look the way I need it to look. You know, maybe maybe full name isn't right. It's really, uh, you know, like first name that I wanted, whatever. Um, but full name will do fine. Uh, then we could do things like, uh, let's save that. And we'll name it signature test. Then I could decide who it applies to. So I've made my signature. We're connected up to G Suite. Then I might say, well, I want this to apply to only people in this Google group, right? And it would be the same. You might call them distribution groups. You might call them distribution lists. Same ones that you're seeing in Gmail when you send an email to say like the sales distribution list, those same groups would be visible here. Specific users, I could list people one by one if I wanted. Um, I could, if I wanted to use like an advanced query and I could go and say, all right, well, look up um, the person's job title. And if their job title contains marketing, then give them that marketing team signature. You could also keep it very simple and just say, give everyone the same signature. You don't have to get into sort of clever rules. You could as well, if you want to, uh, put a few other options on the signature. And number one, I would want to switch it on. I want to make sure I do apply this signature, both server side and I want to apply it client side. I want to add it into Gmail so I can see it in there. Um, there are other elements we could get into, but let's click OK. And then because I am maybe I'm impatient. I want to see this appear in Gmail right away. And I'm going to go to synchronization and under synchronize signatures to Gmail, I'm going to click start. So it syncs them right away. And this can take a moment or two. As you're seeing here, it's saying starting and then in progress. And it's done. Perfect. I'll click close. And so then if I go over into Gmail, with any luck, if I just refresh, when I start composing an email, perfect, there is my signature. That's me set up with Exclaimer Cloud signatures for G Suite. Though there is more to it, watch any of our other YouTube videos or contact us if you have any questions or we can help. Thanks very much for watching.